Semiconductor laser technology has made a lot of progress since they were first invented in 1962. Today, 2.6 is a global leader in semiconductor lasers that are critical for a wide range of applications in industrial lasers, optical communications, and sensing. 2.6's semiconductor lasers leverage two compound semiconductor technology platforms that combine elements from groups 3 and 5 of the periodic table of elements. One is based on gallium arsenide and the other on indium phosphide. In this video, we will explore 2.6's gallium arsenide technology platform. We refer to this technology as our gallium arsenide platform because all devices are built on that compound semiconductor substrate. The process of manufacturing a semiconductor laser begins with the carefully controlled deposition of atomic layers, also known as epitaxial layers. Many of the key performance parameters of semiconductor lasers, such as wavelength and beam geometry, depend on the chemistry and structure of the epitaxial layer design. Once the epitaxial wafer deposition process is completed, the next step is to produce laser devices, which fall in two main product families. The first product family is the edge-emitting laser. In this design, the laser cavity is in the plane of the wafer, and therefore the light also travels in the plane of the wafer. The second product family is the vertical cavity surface emitting laser, or VIXEL. In this design, the laser cavity is perpendicular to the plane of the wafer, and therefore the light also travels perpendicularly to the plane of the wafer. Edge emitting lasers are the semiconductor lasers of choice to amplify the power of optical signals. For example, they are the building blocks of high power fiber lasers used in industrial applications such as laser cutting. They are also essential building blocks in optical amplifiers deployed in optical networks for global communications. On the other hand, Vixels are ideal for short-range communications and many sensing applications. In short-reach communications, Vixels are at the heart of transceivers that transmit data at high speeds between servers in data centers. Vixels are also ideal for many sensing applications. In fact, Vixels are embedded in a broad range of consumer and industrial products, and they continue to find new applications. Overall, gallium arsenide lasers have progressed in leaps and bounds over the years in terms of their performance and ability to be manufactured at scale. Each product line is today the culmination of a long legacy of technological breakthroughs, whether it's increasing the optical power of the lasers for optical amplification, increasing the power of Vixels for sensing, or increasing the speed of the Vixels for optical communications. 2.6's market leadership comes from decades of experience and a deep understanding of what it takes fundamentally to make our products achieve the performance and reliability requirements. In fact, 2.6's gallium arsenide lasers are one of the few in the world with sufficient reliability to be deployed on the bottom of the ocean floor to amplify undersea communication signals. Recently, gallium arsenide lasers have found new applications in smartphones and tablets for 3D sensing. They are placed on the user-facing side for facial biometrics and on the world-facing side for improved photography and soon for augmented reality. What's different for these new applications is that they require two-dimensional arrays of hundreds of Vixels on a chip, making these chips much larger than Vixels for data communications. The Vixel arrays for 3D sensing can take up about 14 times more area on the wafer than a Vixel for datacom. And while there are tens of millions of transceivers shipped every year, there are hundreds of millions of phones sold during that time. This larger chip size, combined with the relatively large number of smartphone users, requires a fundamental scaling up in manufacturing from 3-inch to 6-inch diameter wafers, which scales up the surface area of the wafer by a factor of 4. That is exactly what 2.6 accomplished. 
626 has been in volume production with a vertically integrated 6-inch gallium arsenide optoelectronics platform since 2017. While the 6-inch platform was initially established for fixel arrays in 3D sensing, it has progressively expanded to support an increasing number of gallium arsenide lasers, for example, to produce vixels for datacom applications and even edge emitting lasers for industrial applications. This is the advantage of developing in-house manufacturing capabilities. Advances driven by one end market can be leveraged for all other markets that the technology platform serves. At 2.6, our gallium arsenide technology platform continues to drive a virtuous cycle of innovation that benefits our customers by enabling an expanding universe of applications.